beginning the unthawing process for our guest now. Okay, it appears they're warming up. Can you hear me at all? Still a little bit cold. I'm gonna go ahead and scan them. Beep. Hmm. This seems quite low for what we'd expect from a human. Human, would you like this blanket to keep you warm? It's very thick, woven from space silk. I'm just going to wrap you around. How is that? You're becoming warm again. Okay, let me get a second reading. Beep. Yes. Okay, it does appear you are beginning to raise your internal body temperature. I'm going to check one more test. Just follow this light for me. Try to focus on this light so I can make sure that your eyes have, are in functioning order. Okay, your eyes seem to follow. How are you feeling, human? You're feeling good? That's excellent news. We are delighted that you are feeling a little bit better. Some patients take a while to recover from the cryostasis of space travel, but you are a resilient human. This is why you have been selected out of all the other humans to join our intergalactic agency. This agency is an organization of many different species from across the galaxy. Your human species has finally reached the threshold where we will allow you to join our intergalactic organization. To celebrate this momentous occasion, you have been invited to our tropical space gala. We need to get you ready right away. We have lots to do and not much time to do it in. So please sit still while I work on you. To begin, I would like to give you a choice between rose water and lavender scented moisturizer. As you travel through space in cryogenesis, your skin may become dehydrated. Do you have a preference human between rose water and lavender? You do prefer the rose water? Okay, well, I'll give you some of that. Just close your eyes and I'm going to give you a couple spray. Okay, perfect. You can smell the rose. Yes, this is a very excellent human product that we source straight from Earth. Now I'm going to take this glow and just Rub in this moisturizing cream that I've applied. Okay. This is most excellent. I do not often get to observe other species skin close up. The human skin is fascinating. I have heard that it is the largest organ on the human body. It is bizarre to me that a human would keep their largest organ so vulnerable on the outside of them. Most species in space use an exoskeleton to avoid this conundrum. Since this is going to be a tropical gala, it is important that you look the part. To help achieve this goal, I have this self-tanning solution. This solution will bring your skin to the desired tropical color. In order to apply the self-tanning solution, I will need to protect my hands with these gloves. Now that my hands are protected, I will proceed with the tanning solution. The instructions are simple. Pump the foam. Rub in between your hands and apply to the skin. It is essential that we apply an even coat so 
that there is no patchiness with your application. Please let me see your arms so we may do those as well. Excellent. And the second arm. All right, self tanner has been sufficiently applied to your skin. I will now remove these gloves. The self tanner should dry and feel completely lightweight on your skin. How does it feel now? Almost completely dry? That's wonderful. The next step is going to be sunscreen because of course you cannot enjoy the tropics without exposure to UV radiation. In space, we take UV radiation very seriously. There is some sunscreen for you. And I'm just going to rub it between my fingers. And apply it right along your face. It's very important to get all extremities, including the human ears. Our data indicates that this is the area most commonly burned on humans. But I must also get your neck, including the back areas. And can you present your arms again? Wonderful. This sunscreen has been specially developed by our most elite scientific minds here in the space community. It is also lightweight and SPF 100. This will ensure that no space radiation is harming your skin during your stay here in outer space. Now that we have your base tanning and sun protection on, my idea was to use this tropical palette to give you a very eccentric and tropical look. Included in this palette are several colors, including pink, yellow, orange, and even a glitter. I'm going to apply these to your eyes using this special brush. First, starting with the orange, just applying it here. Yes, no need to worry. Our expert minds made this, made this sunscreen into a base as well as a sunscreen. So there's no reason to apply any primer. I'm just gently tapping into the skin as I have observed done in human tutorial videos. Next, I will be adding some of this pink. This is a very bright, hot pink, and I'm just going to add a little bit to the outside of your eyes. Next, I'm going to highlight with this yellow color and use it to blend the other two colors together. This will create a tropical sunset effect. Here on Delta 9, we happen to have six suns and get six different sunsets throughout the day. Last but not least, I'm going to apply just a bit of this glitter just right here and here as well. Okay, your eyeshadow application is now complete. I think you are looking much more tropical and ready for the Tropical Gala. Next though, I'd like to add a little bit of highlighter. This highlighter will mix together to become the perfect shade on your skin. So I will take this application brush and just get a little bit of every color, just like this. And I'm going to carefully apply it to the tops of the human cheekbones that you have here. Wonderful. You're an excellent subject for makeup application. I'm just getting a little bit more and dusting it lightly on here. Yes, this color seems to suit you quite well. I am very pleased with the work so far. But of course, as this is a tropical space gala, you will need some stars. I have several different stars for you to choose from. We have these beautiful pink stars here. 
They are hollow on the inside, which makes them appear very cute on your face. Next we have these tiny gold stars. These are very popular with our incoming space attendants, as gold is often associated with victory, and this is a congratulatory experience. Last, of course, we have this silver stars. These are the most classic of the stars as they most closely represent what you can see from the planet's surface when you look into the sky. Which of these three stars would you like the most? You think that the silver stars would look best? I couldn't agree more. Let us put a few stars into this application tray. This will allow us to more easily apply the stars onto your face. I'm going to use this special glue and just dot, 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 dot. Placing dots on a few places. And now with this tool, I'm going to pick up a star and apply it to your face. And pick one up and apply it to your face. Applying it right here, just one at a time, applying those for you. They have to be individually placed, but it's well worth the effort. It's very important that you look perfect for this gala, as it is you that we will be commemorating. We're so excited to finally have a human join our intergalactic organization. We have been watching you from afar for a very long time, hoping that soon you would be able to finally join us. I am so pleased with how this look is coming out. This is exactly the look we want to go for, with you being the honored member of this tropical gala. We can't wait to introduce you to all of the species and other members of our organization. But first, before we get to that, I need to go ahead and get your shirt ready. I need to measure your approximate shoulder width so that I can understand what options will work for you. I'm just going to measure just like this and get a length. Alright. Can you put your arm out so I can get a measurement there as well? Okay. Perfect. Alright. So, I think you have a few options available. We have this lovely blue tropical shirt. It features notes of pink and hints of green. Next, we have featured this beautiful purple tropical shirt. This will really bring out some of the colors that we've applied to your face and has the added benefit of being our organization's color. Finally, we have this option, which is a nice floral pink and white tropical shirt. Keep in mind, any of these options will be appropriate for the gala tonight, so please just pick based on your own preferences. You like the purple one the best? That is wonderful news. I will get the purple shirt prepared for you. This purple shirt is made from the finest fabrics and should be comfortable to your sensitive human skin. Please stick your arms out while I place the shirt over you. Uh, 
Okay, and now I'm just going to button the shirt. Okay. Perfect. The shirt is absolutely flattering on you. I'm so glad that you picked the shirt that also aligns with our organization's favorite color. I think it looks absolutely extraordinary on you, and you'll really stand out among the other honorary members tonight. Next, I have a few accessories for you to pick from. I have this very nice pink bracelet. Originally, I was thinking this could go with the pink shirt. In lieu of that, I also have this very nice decorative bracelet. This is made from the most expensive space gems that we can ethically obtain. Finally, this is a bracelet from Earth itself. It contains lava stone, which is native to many tropical areas. Which of these three bracelets did you find most appealing? You think that this one would be the most appropriate? I couldn't agree with you more. Please provide me your wrist so that I may attach this to it. Okay, hold still. Just putting that on there. Wonderful. That looks very good with your shirt. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a complete tropical outfit without a lay. I have several options for you to choose from. You may choose this blue one, which I originally thought could go with the blue shirt. We have this festive rainbow one, which is the one I have on now. And of course, we have this purple one. Which one do you like the most? You'd like the purple to match with your shirt? Absolutely. Right, I'm just going to put that on. Wonderful, you look so festive. Last but not least, I was going to give you a quick hair styling. I have obtained this earthly spray which promises salty waves as if you have just been in the beach. Although there are no beaches on this planet, we understand that many tropical areas on earth do. Please close your eyes while I apply this spray. As an added bonus, this spray is scented like bananas, another very tropical fruit we understand. I'm just going to brush through your hair, make sure that this spray is distributed evenly, and then I will encourage these waves to come out. Just gently brushing in the product. Alright, that looks excellent. I also have this glow-in-the-dark hairspray. This will help you stand out even more, and it represents the glow-in-the-dark nature of many bioluminescent life forms. For this one, I'm going to cover your eyes so that none of this is able to irritate them. Wonderful. Unfortunately, this spray is not scented like anything and is rather an unpleasant smell. I do apologize, but I assure you that the payoff will be worth it. The very final choice that you have is between these three flower clips. We have this beautiful tropical one here. This one is my favorite. This blue one is slightly more modest but may be appealing depending on what your preferences are. And the smallest one, like the big one, is a white flower, but a much more modest size. Which of these three is most appealing to you? You do like the big one? I'm so glad that you have such good taste. I'm just going to clip this. That looks absolutely spectacular. Okay, we are almost out of time now. I'm going to activate the portal to send you over to the gala. It won't take any time at all as we have invented short distance teleportation. Please have a lovely time at the gala tonight.